guys, welcome back to the second episode of What the Franchise, and today we're going to be taking a dive into player scouting. Now, when I look at player scouting, the first thing that comes to mind, or if you were to ask me to describe it in one word, that word would be shallow. Uh, but just a quick overview of scouting, you get letter grades for their three best attributes, and then there's the combine data. There are some other things that you can pull from, like the draft stories, and then there's the true talent or true draft value as well. Uh, but mainly what you're getting out of scouting is those letter grades and just looking at Madden in general uh, scouting is something that I feel like has been consistently taking steps backwards for quite a while now and especially so with the transition to CFM uh, it just seems like it's another part of CFM that has been streamlined and dumbed down into a way so that it can fit that mold of of something that can be done as quickly as possible and they're not really needing to be much thought required to do it uh, and I think that's the biggest issue I have with it is that by doing it it that way what we have is something that's not only unrealistic but it's also very one-dimensional and what I mean by that is when you're only getting letter grades of their three best attributes you're providing a very limited picture or evaluation of these prospects where you're essentially blind to every other attribute and pro or con that that player might have uh, so you you end up in situations to where hypothetically you go to your scout and he gives you these three pros of the player but then you when you ask him how he is at this or that the answer is essentially I don't know but it's worse than these and th that's pretty much the answer that you're gonna get there um, so you could scout a guy that has all B's for his top three attributes but beyond that you're basically just left in the dark and left to guess whether or not any of his other attributes might be anywhere between a B or an F you really don't know you just know that they're worse than those top three that you got um, and by doing this, it not only makes one of the only things that you get to do outside of gameplay within CFM in scouting a very mundane task in itself, uh, because rather than being involved in it, you're kind of disconnected and just basically unlocking pre-chosen information. But that lack of depth also comes back around and ends up extending to and affecting things when you get to the draft as well. Uh, because you get so little information and that information is so one dimensional, when you get to your picks and you're deciding between and comparing players, there just isn't a whole lot to compare. You're not really dealing with a whole lot of weighing pros and cons of each player uh, and dealing with that kind of thing. And that dynamic really suffers from the lackluster scouting as well. Uh, but looking towards how to improve it, to, to be brutally honest, if it was up to me, I would scrap the entire system. Like I said, I don't think this is a good system. And the only thing I really think it does well is the fact that it's such a quick process. But when I look at scouting in general, I feel like it's not something that should take any time at all. And what I mean by that is that I don't feel like it should be a task that you're, that you're required to do. I feel like it should be more so information provided to you uh, rather than information that you have to see out and when you take that out of the equation that how quick it is out of the equation I think there are just a ton of different ways that you could do scouting that would not only be more realistic but also more beneficial or make things more interesting for the user user than what we currently have um, all while still being able to maintain that accessibility and without having to make things too confusing or too convoluted for an average user or for a casual user um, and that is something that I will eventually touch on more than likely in the beyond the blueprint series uh, uh, but for this, I'm going to try to stay within the framework of how things work, currently work in the game rather than going too far outside the box. But the first thing that I would do is get rid of scouting points and scouting as a task. Uh, like I said, I just feel like this makes things, it makes things easier. And the reality of it is um, that even if you're in an online league with 32 other guys, the chances of you scouting many players that nobody or only a few people within your league have scouted is rare. Um, so the thought of... of that picking and choosing who you're scouting making much of a difference or giving you much of an advantage over somebody else just isn't something that I feel like is is a big enough factor and not only that but when you're scouting these guys the information is the same for you as it is for everybody else so it just makes more sense to me to make it general knowledge if you're going to do it that way Another thing I would do is get rid of the true draft value or the true talent um, or just make that the true projection for players. I've never really understood the reasoning behind giving you the ability to, to basically see and identify diamonds and busts before the draft. Uh, and that entire mechanic is just way too handholdy for me. But I did, I, I have done a 32 team control draft using the true, true talent projections. Um, and I think they actually work better than the current system of just slotting in, in 
in 32 guys into each round and doing projections that way. Um, so if they were to transition those uh, ratings or t uh, projections into the actual projections rather than using as something using them as something that you get from scouting I think that would work actually a lot better one thing you could do too is that you could still keep it as a task during the week uh, but it, rather than in, instead of having to scout however many guys you get to scout during a, a certain week you could bring 10 to 20 guys that were highlighted uh, each week that you could basically quickly go through and if you were interested add them to your draft board or just take a look at them um, and all while still having that information available outside of that if you wanted to go look at it during the season. Uh, but rather than actually having to scout guys, you'd basically just be brought 10 to 20 guys that were in from the upcoming draft class uh, to take a quick look at before you played your game. Uh, but along the lines of what you get out of scouting, if you're going to stick with the current system with scouting points, I think the attributes should at the very least be randomized. Um, so instead of getting the best attribute first out of the three, I think it should be random to where when you unlock that first attribute, it might be his his first, it might be his second, it might be his third. Uh, this prevents situations where you scout the first attribute, see that it's a C or a C minus, and then just move on because you know there's no point to go from there. Uh, because everything's going to be worse than that. Uh, another thing that I would consider is allowing you to choose which three attributes rather than just getting the three best. The, uh, that way you're actually kind of having a say in what you're getting rather than just going through the motions and unlocking predetermined attributes um, that it's going to be the same for everybody. And it's a way to get what you want rather than just always unlocking the three best. I think what I would do though is I would expand the number of attributes you get to five and then I would also remove the plus minus designations uh, because knowledge is power and with the more information that you, you would be getting from that, you have to kind of scale it back and scale scale back how accurate it is um, to mask things a little bit to not make it as easy to, to identify those diamonds and those busts and those good players in the draft class. But one thing you could do as well is like I just mentioned, if you had the five attributes or it could even be done uh, with four or three even, is allowing you to set the attributes that you get position by position. So. Like I said, you could do this with three or four or five attributes, but maybe for quarterbacks, you specifically want throw power, deep accuracy, and throw on the run, and you care about those more than anything else, um, so you'd have the power to do that if you so chose. Uh, but like I said, though, if it were up to me, I would, I would probably scrap this entire system. Um, so it's a little bit hard to come up with a whole bunch of stuff that, that to make it better when the reality is that I would completely redo it in a different way. If it was up to me, I would do something similar to an expanded version of Madden 06's scouting. Uh, but that's, like I said, something that I will get into a little bit later in the Beyond the Blueprint series. Uh, but that's going to do it for now. Let me know what you guys think of scouting, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you change. Um, in the next video of What the Franchise, I'm going to be taking a look at game planning and more specifically the data or lack thereof. Of, um, that you're presented with from that feature uh, but the next video you should be seeing from me will be a beyond the blueprint video looking at contract incentives but like i said that's going to do it here hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching